Flag. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we are continuing the Absolute Carnage tie-in reviews because there were so many that came out this week. It was just a packed week, man. Uh, but we got Lethal Protectors here, number one. And uh, this was pretty good. Frank Thierry wrote the issue. Uh, Flaviano was the artist on the issue. And Federico Bleed did the colors. And I thought the art was fantastic. It, it really was nice. It had like this, some images kind of reminded me of Humberto Ramos a little bit, like this image here with these two swinging. Uh, but then it also like had like a little bit more of a, uh, blocky style. I can't remember the name of the artist who did Spectacular Spider-Man during Maximum Carnage, that book, um, but I, it kind of reminded me of his art a little bit too. So yeah, I mean, really, really well done. This was a, a well-paced issue. Um, I like Frank Thierry. He's a really nice guy. He follows me on Twitter, which is really nice of him to do that, And uh, but I, I like his, his stuff that he's done. I really like that Cult of Carnage one-shot he did, uh, where it was like in Doverton, Colorado, and it set up John Jameson and Misty Knight, and they were going there to like, you know, figure out what was happening, and and uh, that ties into this. That is pretty much the precursor to this miniseries. So in issue one, they talked about how Misty Knight got away. And I was like, what are they talking about? Well, this is the issue that explains it. So this is pretty much a Misty Knight and John Jameson issue, but it also has some very interesting twists. Some that I'm not going to spoil here, but some that I might, because I'm just going to go off on a, a rant here and talk about it uh, and review it in a way. Uh, but I also, you know, I might give away some stuff. So there might be mild spoilers ahead. So if you haven't read the book, I highly recommend you go do that first and then come back and watch the episode. And if you need a copy of the book, boom, there's a digital copy. First person to put that code in gets the comic book. So um, I love sharing these digital codes. Big thanks to House of Secrets. Uh, that's where I buy my books and the digital codes come for free in the book. So thanks to Marvel for that. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm glad they could do that so I can share those codes with you guys. So some of you out there that either don't have the money to get uh, the books or, you know, live in another country and can't get them, uh, hopefully you go, you can access those codes, use them and at least get, uh, you know, a book for the week, if not trying to get all these codes. So best of luck to you. And if you got the book, let me know down below what you thought of it yourself, because uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you won the code, let me know that you got it as well. So we know that it's been used up. Um, all right. So then now the book. So it starts off with John Jameson. It's a conversation between him and Spider-Man. And Spider-Man's like, hey, we got this plan. We need Norman Osborn. Did you clear the place out? And John Jameson's like, yep, place is all cleared. And boom, it's because everyone's dead in it. So it shows that John Jameson, even before Spider-Man got there um, in issue one, that, uh, you know, that he had already wiped out the place. The Cult of Carnage is underneath the facility and they're working their way up into the building. Uh, they know that Norman Osborn's part of their plans, but then they also know that, uh, you know, there's a bunch of people that they can use to turn into symbiotes and a lot of worshipers they can gain uh, by taking over people that are, you know, have, um, you know, uh, suffering from mental disorders and stuff. So that's it. So that's pretty much where they've been hiding out. So I was like, oh, that's interesting because when Carnage came to New York, it shows, you know, like in this book, they kind of show that he's gone through the sewers and he's worked his way up. And there was hints of that in some of those like backup issues, like those uh, post credit scenes and then some of the other books. So it's it was really nice to see all that kind of come to fruition here and all those little threads connect here. And then the Cult of Carnage thing all connect here. So that's what this is. And so it's, uh, you know, Norman Osborn shows up and he's like, I'm Cletus Cassidy. I don't know who you're talking to, John Jameson. Uh, we see Doppelganger in this issue. We see Shriek in this issue. Uh, there's a big moment with Shriek in this issue um, and also a character from Max Maximum Carnage that has been dead for many years. I think he died in one of my favorite um, storylines, actually. I really love in Spider-Man. It was called uh, Beware the Rage of a Desperate Man. And it was right before the Clone Saga. And it was a story about uh, Philip Mackendale, the Hobgoblin, and his battle with, uh, you know, a couple other characters in that book. I don't want to spoil it in case you, you know, haven't read this yet. Um, but anyway, that's a great book. If you ever, uh, they never put it in a trade paperback, as far as I know. Uh, but if you ever can find those issues uh, from Spider Man, uh, art by Tom Lyle, uh, I highly recommend that series. The Beware the Rage of a Desperate Man was a really cool book. Um, so anyway, so that was where this character died. Now that character is coming back in this issue, and uh, and it's really neat. So I don't want to go into any more detail than that. Uh, but they they really play up the cult angle here. And it looks like that's what Frank Thierry is going to be bringing to his miniseries. Like his tie-in issues are going to focus around that. And so they do show moments like Misty Knight has been captured. She's being held prisoner. Uh, John Jameson's like, yeah, that's my plus one. And they show a flashback of them leaving Doverton together. 
and then him turning into man wolf uh carnage man wolf or Noel, you know controlled man wolf and attacking her and that's how he got the jump on her and and was able to knock her out and bring her to uh the facility here so uh so yeah she has her robot arm and everything and they bring her out and it looks like they're going to use her for a sacrifice but there's some cool neat twist there that i don't want to spoil uh for you guys so you can get you know i'll go read it yourself and if you want my in-depth review or t discussion of this definitely listen to the venomaniacs podcast tonight i'm going to be on their show talking about all the tie-ins that came out this week and i'll put a link to that in the pinned comment down below so you guys can check them out so make sure you subscribe to their youtube channel and listen to future episodes too um and uh, definitely listen to the one that i'm on because we're going to talk about all these episodes or all these issues here uh on today's episode so i'm very excited so thank you guys for having me again um and uh so yeah so misty knight is mainly focused on her uh and then this like ritual that carnage is doing that has some twists in it that i don't again i don't want to spoil and there's like a really interesting moment there's a kiss uh in the scene here and you're kind of like okay uh with something very interesting there uh the, so we'll talk about that maybe on tonight's episode um or in the comments down below if you want to talk about it down there so there may be spoilers down there you guys uh but then uh yeah so there was like an interesting kiss between two characters that i was like that okay all right i see that um but uh but then you have like a big misty night moment at the end which is really good too that i don't want to spoil uh but uh the book itself though i thought the pacing was really good i like the artwork and i like that once again it's pretty typical carnage like he did in carnage usa and other and other storylines there's this running theme with carnage because he's someone who comes from a broken home in a lot of ways and you know took out you know his try to take out his own mother and watched his father kill his mother and and everything he does seem to always want to build a family, uh, you know, deep down inside. It seems like that's the, always his go-to thing. And that's what he's doing here. He does serve Noel for sure, but there's still that part of Cletus inside that wants to, you know, rebuild his family and the family that he made during Maximum Carnage. And you see a lot of that. That's kind of the focus of this issue. So that'll be my big hint towards, you know, what the storyline is here and what characters might be coming back. And uh, they even hint that another character may be coming back that they're going to try to bring that character back, which I hope they do because I, I miss that character too, but I don't want to get too much into that. I'll have you read the book for yourself because I want to try to keep this as non-spoilery as I can, but then still, you know, I still give away some stuff. But the characters on the cover, Iron Fist, uh, Cloak and Dagger, Morbius, you don't see them at all this issue but i imagine they're going to pop up very very soon in the book for sure so uh, i'm looking forward to seeing them pop up because that's the other characters that weren't included uh th that are from maximum carnage that we haven't seen pop up on scene yet so i imagine they'll pop up in issue two and help misty knight out so yeah let me know what you think of this book down below if you have uh, any thoughts on it and if you got the digital code again let me know down below so we all know you got it uh, and so i know who who won the the digital code and we have one more episode coming up today i'm going to record after this i still got to read it but it's Absolute Carnage, Miles Morales. So I'm going to go read that right now, and then we'll do our last video on that today. And then I should be caught up on everything. I did get a haul of other Venom stuff, so maybe I'll talk about that in another episode. But you might not get that till next week because I have a lot to do. i got to get ready. I'm taking a vacation this week. I'm going to Halo Outpost Discovery. So my gaming channel is going to have a ton of content this weekend. Uh, but my Venom stuff, I'm going to try to get it all posted before Friday, if I can. As much of it as I can before Friday. So i got to go work on that as well tonight. So I'm very busy. i got to pack. got to get a lot of stuff ready. And I'm pitching my reaction show tomorrow so i got a lot of stuff i got to do guys <laughs> so thank you for being so patient with me i'm going to get these videos up as fast as i can but thank you for watching hopefully you listen to venom maniacs episode and you like that too and let me know if you did and uh, let me know down below and make sure you subscribe to those guys uh, because hopefully i'll get to be on the show again at some point down the road but for now i'm happy that they're having me on this one time to talk about absolute carnage so thank you guys very much for watching the show as always like share, subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace